saying we're live on Facebook, but we had some interesting technicalities even yesterday with whether it was really live. Now we are. Now I know where they're live. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who's joining us. And we are, uh, this is the series of meet and greets with uh, some of my friends who are tappers and we're doing this program called Tapping Into Your Big Vision Live. And one of the co-creators of this program who invited the rest of us is my good friend, Jackie Crooks. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Brad. <laughs> Thanks for setting up this live. Oh, it's it's so nice to see you. <laughs> Likewise. I. Now we've known each other for a long time. I, I think even before you, now for everyone who's not aware of this, Jackie is one of the founding EFT masters, which is a, uh, a small group of people who have that, that title. But I think we met before. We met before that, yes, we yeah. did. I remember you, you tapping and some little person popped in halfway through, <laughs> who's probably a very big person by now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have grown up and, and left the nest really gosh yes it's we been that long <laughs> <laughs> well you became an eft master in what 2005 2006 yeah, 2005 i think yeah yeah that's when he first announced it yeah it was fantastic my yeah. first time out of the country really going over and doing stuff for for gary in the states and my first ever time presenting to anybody was to 300 people in denver <laughs> <laughs> baptism of fire but lovely i was i was assisting gary at a workshop in orange county uh the first time he announced that he was going to be doing the master's program mm -hmm. and uh, the person facilitating the person running the back end of the uh, master's program said well brad you're not really qualified yet <laughs> so i wasn't allowed to uh, be in that first uh, in that first group Irritating. And I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with. <laughs> I'm, but I, hey, in in spite of of not having that that credential, I'm very happy to say that um, many of the EFT founding masters are good friends of mine. So, so I'm st I still get to hang out with the cool kids. <laughs> So, so for those of you, uh, for those who might be watching that are are not as familiar with you and your work, maybe you can tell uh, tell folks a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I trained originally as a hypnotherapist and in NLP, and my I went for supervision with my hypnotherapy tutor, who said, "Can I try this really strange new technique out on you?" <laughs> oh, yes, free therapy, of course. <laughs> And it was EFT and it absolutely blew me away. And I said to him, then, when are you training in this? So he set up a workshop and I was in it, I think probably the first in the UK. And then I helped him on his training courses for a few years till I started training myself. And it, it transformed my life. I just, I just loved it. And I think one of the reasons I loved it was I went into it with the belief that it would work on anything. And if it wasn't working on something, it's because I hadn't worked out how to make it work on that thing. Um, and so it, it gave me the freedom to be really creative and to try different things and see what worked and what didn't work and add things. And I was working with one, one of my colleagues who had also done EFT and hypnosis. And I said, such a shame I'm not using that hypnotherapy and NLP stuff. And he went, you've just done this, 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 this and this. And my subconscious had just wound it all into EFT. And that's when I realized, you know, for me, how important the languaging is in EFT. And, you know, I, I just love playing with the language. And, you know, I, I've really, over the years, come to specialize in, in clearing the stuff that's not ours, the stuff that comes down the family line, all the ancestral patterns, all the ancestral beliefs. Uh, and, you know, also the traumas that come down through the, with the genes. You know, there's been lots of research done that proves that trauma comes down through the genes. And, and I just love being able to go in and go, you don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> 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 things start to change. And, um, and I started doing that, that really early stuff because I'd had two clients that come to me separately with 
a huge fear of rejection, so great that they couldn't go into a relationship because they were too scared of losing one. Um, and we'd gone back as far as anybody could remember. And I said to one of them, are there any stories about your birth? And that really was just desperation. And when he said, yes, my mum tried to abort me, we've got a really good relationship now. I thought, oh, okay then. Mm. So when I had the second client, I said, any stories about your birth? And he said, yes, my mum tried to abort me and I was a twin and my brother died. So that's when I started realizing that a lot went on in the womb that we pick up and that actually getting rid of that uh, and giving new information to the parts of us that have been holding that old stuff and the old traumas would, would transform things in the here and now. Because what I found was if you're just working on what's going on here and now, you clear it, but it pops up somewhere else. If you haven't cleared, yeah. Whereas if you clear the origins of it, then the stuff that's going on here has, has no roots. So it goes really quickly. So that's what I love doing. Ancestral stuff. I do past life stuff as well. You know, for some people that's important. For some people it's not, so I don't do it. But uh, My first couple of clients, when I, as a because I started as a hypnotherapist as well, were uh, past life regressions. Yeah. And I still do a little bit of hypnosis as hypnosis in my, because I still, I still love that process, but yeah, absolutely. I love being in hypnosis. Yeah. <laughs> I think actually you're talking about past lives. One of the most amazing things was um, until all the lockdown stuff, I was doing um, a retreat each year in Slovenia um, at Lake Bled, which is absolutely beautiful place. And we were working with somebody and she was triggered into a past life and you know, she came up with all the things that had gone on and we started to clear it. And we found out in the end, there were three people in that group who were all part of that same life. Wow. There was the person who'd been killed, there was the person who killed them, and there was the wife of the person who'd been killed. Wow. And it all just, as we started tapping, it was just like, okay, and they were coming up with all this information and the transformation for all three of them was huge and it did feel like they'd come together to clear you know clear the unfinished business really very so, cool and i always say it doesn't matter really whether it's your past life whether you're connecting into somebody else's life or whether your subconscious is coming up with a metaphor you can use working on past lives as a way of getting to the deep stuff and clearing right. it right whether or not it's, it is an actual past life or it is how our mind is saying, here's how I need to deal with this. I need to set it as, as this so that I can approach it. It's, <laughs> it's our own version of the tearless trauma technique. <laughs> <laughs> yes. it's, an, it's an NLP technique of setting it at a, at a safe distance. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and, uh, and then you and Melanie came up with this idea for the tapping into Vic, Big Vision Live. And they, Melanie came up with this idea and I went, okay, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful having friends who are really proactive, isn't it? <laughs> well, I, I, I remember it in, you know, uh, two years ago when I was in London and it was when we were out having dinner afterwards and, and, and you uh, and, uh, and Emma Roberts were there and, and Mel's like, these are EFT masters. It's like, I'm bringing you into the big table. <laughs> she was so thrilled to, uh, you know, yeah. to meet some real movers and shakers in the EFT world. Yeah, I think she's probably a really big mover and shaker myself. Well, and, and yeah, she is. And it was about time that she came to the table <laughs> in, in that way. Be there with her. <laughs> yeah, and so so, and what you are presenting on. Clearing ancestral and family patterns. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Would have guessed. <laughs> All that stuff I've just been talking about. So it's, it, you know, my part of it will be to, to help people clear the stuff that's in their way. And, and the good thing about using EFT when you're using that sort of hypnotic language is people don't have to know exactly what it is they're aiming at because you can use language in such a way that the subconscious goes, oh, I know, ferrets through the filing cabinet, pulls out the relevant bit and deals with it. 
and it can be cleared and sometimes even without people knowing what it is they're clearing but they just get that sense of release and things falling away and one of the things I have found that doing the ancestral stuff people often will get a physical feeling you know not everybody gets something physical when they're clearing stuff but often when I'm doing the the ancestral the deep stuff there's that sense of things falling away or dropping or shuttering or exploding out or or whatever you know but people will often say you know oh god I've never felt anything happen before but that which is always very satisfying (laughs) (laughs) it's very gratifying work yeah I I love the the thing of not knowing what it is the the analogy I use is it's like you have your trash can in your kitchen and at the end of the week you tie up the bag and you take it out to the garbage outside and you don't need to open it again to in order to say, oh, here's bring. the milk carton I finished yesterday. And here's the carton of eggs from three days ago. It's like, I'm I don't know what's there, but, That's but there's no more smell in the kitchen. <laughs> I'll be borrowing that. Thank you. <laughs> it's $5 every time you do so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh and as folks who are following the series uh, of these meet and greets know, I will then be, and I'll be the last speaker of the day, yeah. which will be morning for me. Ryan, wind it all up for us and leave us feeling really great. We tap on allowing more abundance into our lives. Mm-hmm. And now's the time for a sneak preview, Jackie, where I put my guest on the hot seat and say, start us off in a tapping round. Okay, so obviously I'll be doing this in more in depth when we're in the workshop, but I just thought, let's do a round on stuff. So most of the time I tap on the karate point, so even though, even though I'm carrying a lot of stuff that's not mine. I'm carrying a lot of stuff that's not mine. And parts of me think it is mine. And parts of me think it is mine. I'm letting them know now. I'm letting them know now. That it's not. That it's not. Even though. Even though. I've inherited all sorts of stuff. I've inherited all sorts of stuff. It's come down through the family line. It's come down through the family line. And it's come down with beliefs. And it's come down with beliefs. And vows. And vows. And decisions. And decisions. And survival strategies. And survival strategies. And I thought they were all mine. And I thought they were all mine. And I've been acting as though they are right up until now. And I've been acting as though they were right up until now. And I let all parts of me know now. And I let all parts of me know now. That they're not mine. They're not mine. And it's okay to let them go now. And it's okay to let them know. Let them go. (laughs) Back to the universe. Back to the universe. For recycling. For recycling. Into something more useful. Into something more useful. With my thanks. With my thanks. Releasing now. Releasing now. Anything that's not mine. Anything that's not mine. Anything that's not me. Anything that's not me. Wherever it came from. Wherever it came from. Down through the family line. Down through the family line. From previous lives I've lived. From previous lives I've lived. From stuff that's gone on in this life. From stuff that's gone on in this life. Wherever it came from. Wherever it came from. If it's not mine. If it's not mine. And if it's not me. And if it's not me. It can go to the recycling. It can go to the recycling. With my thanks. With my thanks. Releasing now. Releasing now. Anything that's not mine. Anything that's not mine. Anything that's not me anything that's not me wherever it came from wherever it came from with my thanks with my thanks for a job well done for a job well done setting me free setting me free to be me to be me which is what i came to be which is what i came to be and all these parts of me and all these parts of me that believed it was necessary to hang on to that stuff. That believed it was necessary to hang on to that stuff. 
I choose to love and appreciate those parts of me. I choose to love and appreciate those parts of me. That have been brilliantly carrying my family's luggage. I've been brilliantly carrying my family's luggage. Or whoever's luggage it might be. Or whoever's luggage it might be. Believing there was something I needed in there. Believing there was something I needed in there. I didn't hold on to it because I was bad or stupid. I didn't hold on to it because I was bad or stupid. I believed it was necessary for my survival. I believed it was necessary for my survival. So it really was a job well done. So it really was a job well done. I love and appreciate all those parts of me. And I love and appreciate all those parts of me. That are doing the best they can. That are doing the best they can. To take care of me. To take care of me. Often based on misunderstandings. Often based on misunderstandings. And I'm allowing myself to get clear now. And I'm allowing myself to get clear now. What serves me? What serves me? And what doesn't? And what doesn't? And I can let that stuff go. And I can let that stuff go. In body, mind, and spirit. In body, mind, and spirit. And take a deep breath. Oh, that feels nice. Can I just do one more round? Because Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, no, please, Jackie. Yeah, no more. <laughs> <laughs> so even though. Even though. There may be parts of me. There may be parts of me. That thought they'd get into trouble if they let this go. That thought they'd get into trouble if they let this go. I love and accept those parts. I love and accept those parts. Even though parts of me. Even though there's parts of me. May have decided. May have decided. It was my job to carry this for other people. It was my job to carry this for other people. And I'd be letting them down if I don't. And I'll be letting them down if I don't. I love and accept those parts. I love and accept those parts. Even though there are parts of me. Even though there are parts of me. With all sorts of beliefs. With all sorts of beliefs. Created with the best of intentions. Created with the best of intentions. And the very smallest bit of information. And the very smallest bit of information. I'd like them to understand. I'd like them to understand. We've got more information now. We've got more information now. And we can do it differently. And we can do it differently. And it is safe to let this go now. And it is safe to let this go now. Not just for ourselves. Not just for ourselves. But for anyone that's been connected with this. But for anyone who's been connected with this. Sending the healing back through the family line. Sending the healing back through the family line. And down through the family line. And down through the family line. Thanking everybody involved. Thanking everybody involved. And setting us all free. And setting us all free. To be ourselves. To be ourselves. Cancelling all old contracts. Change the, um, what was that last one? Cancelling all old Cancel, contracts. Cancelling all old contracts. And allowing myself to know. And allowing myself to know. This does not dishonor my family. This does not dishonor my family. Because if it's not serving me to carry it. Because if it's not serving me to carry it. It's not serving anyone else for me to carry it. It's not serving anyone else for me to carry it. And this belief that it was necessary for any of us. And the belief that it was necessary for any of us. Was a misunderstanding. Was just a misunderstanding. And I'm, and I'm honoring everybody. And I'm honoring everybody. By setting us all free. By setting us all free. In body, mind, and spirit. In body, mind, and spirit. I do like working with you, Tara. <laughs> 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 oh, well, we think a lot alike. <laughs> I think we do. In fact, I meant to email you one of my, because I often tell my clients to look at your email, your taps in between times. And he said, oh, he's just wonderful. He saved my life. And I love it that he works in the same way that you do. <laughs> and that you both go for the deep stuff. So I meant to tell you that you made one of my clients extremely happy. Well, I'm delighted that you're saying this in a public forum. So thank you. <laughs> and it is always extremely gratifying when people tell me that that they send their clients or patients, doctors and therapists, I send my patients to your videos for homework. And for an EFT master to say, oh, yes, I said, I must be doing something right. So thank you very much. Thank you all, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
Mm. All right. Well, so everybody, that's a, that's a taste of what you're going to get over the course of several hours with, uh, with Jackie and myself and, uh, and our friends, Melanie and Tamara and Andy and Steve. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be doing meet and greet with, with Steve later today. Uh -huh. So interesting trying to sort out the timing, isn't it? <laughs> Steve and I did this this uh, event we were we were supposed to do last year. After years of being friends, we thought we're going to do we're going to do a live event together. We're going to do it east and west coast of the U.S. and then east and west coast of, of Australia. And then the pandemic happened, <laughs> so we 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 went online and and trying to organize the times for people who had already signed up for either Australia or the U.S. and and trying yeah. to make it work for as many people as possible it was an interesting. Uh, Interesting challenge. <laughs> when we were trying to talk all of us together, I think you were up at six o'clock and, right. and Steve was right. still up at 10. <laughs> yes. And because there are four of you in the UK, Steve and I had even to work around your schedules. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even with the, the 31st, yeah, you guys are starting at four in the morning for me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm not expecting you to be there for the beginning. <laughs> But for, for anyone watching this uh, who's in the US or Australia or anywhere in the world, you get the recordings. Absolutely. So, so definitely the, the link is up there in the um, information box about this. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, it'll be in the demo, the information box down below to find out about tapping into your big vision live on July 31st. Join us. Don't miss it. And there's all kinds of uh, great bonuses you get too. So yeah, as if the event itself wasn't going to be fantastic. It's going to be a fun day, I think. <laughs> it is. Thank you so much for joining me, Jackie. Thank and you, Brad. Thank you for everyone who, uh, who's watching us live and everyone who's watching us in the replay. And we look forward to seeing you guys on July 31st. Bye.